just for the wicked on this one. We're already chasing our tails and running late. Hi, right, welcome to the channel if you're new here, and welcome back if you've been here before. Fear not though, it shouldn't really matter. I'm gonna be on the road for about 10 days to two weeks on this one. I've been planning it for days. It's gonna be absolutely spanking, and I've got waterfalls, mountains, beaches, amazing park ups with views over coastlines and lighthouses, and so, so much more. It's going to be a mega trip. And because we're going on a big mega trip, I've installed something new into the crib, haven't I? Oh yeah, I've put a heating system in because it's nearly springtime. Check how this one went down. So I'm not going to lie, the weather itself today isn't the best for this project, but we have got all the tools we require for it. Some more useful than others you know you know right old man grumpstock <laughs> let me show you what we've got to do it's quite a diverse project and it could take some time so i'm gonna need your expert skills for it right. let me show you right then grumpstock pretty simple state of affairs we've got one steamy hot length of heat tube said here and it's going to be attaching along the wood said here with four screws is all i need you to do is hold it into position and we're going to mark it off let's go right then dad let's position it perfectly if you move it up a little bit yeah and then move it towards me a little bit down a little bit and then back towards you and you should be exactly where you started again that's great perfect are you happy dad yeah i'm happy are you happy i'm happy yeah happy days yeah. oh mate jpp white what are we doing, oh no we'll get copyright what are for that doing, then? what are we doing you're gonna have to mark it make sure you do it right you know what we should have done? What? Mark the other end at the same time. Give this one first. Oh, you just screw one in. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What's next? Braddle. Braddle. Check. I knew it was worth bringing him over. He's an absolute genius. He really is. So complex this job. I've never been able to do it on my own. Definitely need his uh, modern skills or old school skills. Hang on, Dad. We've got to make it look really good. Yeah. Okay. Do both of them. Are you going to do both at the same time? Yeah. yeah. Mate, you're multi-skilled. I mean, however you want to roll with it, mate, you're, you're the man. So, action. <laughs> Don't swear, it's a kid's show. Well, it's not a kid's show. Kids do watch this show, though. Look at that wrist action. Yeah, I tell you what, you have got a proper good wrist action. Like years of practice. You're good at stuff like this, aren't you, with your hands? <clears throat> you want me to make a comment on that? <laughs> Keep it clean. Look at this one, going in dry, totally raw, no lube. Why is it not working? It's, it's not going to screw in enough. Is it not? No. Ah. Do you want to get out the power tools? Is that what you're saying to me? Yeah. It's not happening and you want to get the power tools out. Is that what you're saying? Just get the power tool. Bring out the power tool. To me. To me. To me. To, me. to you. Sideways. Back up a bit. Hang on. The back, the back, back. Perfect. Loves you. Let's go. Turns out old man Grumps' skills aren't quite as good as we thought. He was telling me he needed a power tool. I've done it by hand. Also, good news, because the power tool... Uh, good. ...hasn't got a bloody bit that'll fit anyway. So yeah, back to the old school methods of handy time. You do, you do. Obviously, Grumpstar, look at the workmanship. How far I've done, leave me hanging. Ooh, diddly bop. Right, let's get the bad boy back in the crib, you do. And boom time, fully <laughs> installed. And this is my seating position, so you can see plenty of leg room. It's not gonna get in the way. And hopefully, yeah, the fridge slides just, just underneath it. So if it does happen to slide over, and it's not going to crack and smash it. Fingers crossed. So yeah, now we've got heating in the crib and we're all set for our next misadventure. I do, however, have one little problem. I've got no air in the tyres. I'm pretty sure I've got a slow puncture going on in at least one or maybe two of the tyres. So yeah, a little pit stop. Let's see what they're saying and we can get on the road. Oh, I don't know if you see this, but I'm going to set it to 34 which is kind of what I normally put in my tyres for this car, so. And to be honest, the one in question is this one down here. I reckon that's down to about 26, and it was only bumped up about 10 days ago. So 
25, man. That sucks, dude. Well, I don't know. It looks like we've got three OK tyres and one that's coming down a little bit. Weird thing, though, it's how the sit on the road that makes me sort of weird about it. That looks like it's bulged out a little bit. That's 34. And then that's 34 as well. No bulge. And to be fair, 34 seems about the right amount for what I'm loading and what I'm carrying. But oh well, let's not worry about it now. Let's worry about getting up to somewhere pretty funky. Let's get ourselves on the track, eh? Wicked, mate. <laughs> Check out the name of this place for that. Da, 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 the Devil's Arse, you know, you know. Yeah, mate, we're going straight up the Devil's Arse. Well, more specifically, above it, but it sounds better if I say I'm going up it, doesn't it? So, yeah, shizzing it together, and we'll get on the trail. I am proper, proper sight for this one. Not just this, the whole trip. It's going to be mega. Let's do this. been a while let's do it right not that this one has a beef but you know you know mate oh we're on the trail we're going but from exuberant happiness to absolute chuffing disgust check this out and i mean look we're not in the heart of flipping london are we we're in the peak district in derbyshire seven pound all day regardless 10 minute five hours eight hours whatever it be and then three quid after 5 p.m but you can't stay overnight so I have no idea what time you're supposed to leave that is absolute freaking daylight robbery mate it's half past three now i'm going to be here for about two hours and it's going to cost me seven quid to park luckily me being me somebody was leaving and i bought their ticket off them for a couple of quid otherwise i'd be paying seven quid to park for two hours absolutely disgusting buy a meal for that for two people you know you'd have to scrimp it a bit but you could right anyway the trail it's called the castleton and cavedale route and it's got about a thousand foot vert and it stretches for about four miles it should take us a couple of hours and we should get up above castleton with some nice looking views down it's supposed to be an out and back but it does have the option of a full circular route. We'll see how we go with the time and the light, but mate, it's not a bad little start, is it? What an area, wicked. Let's go. I'm not being funny as well. If you've never been to Castleton or Derbyshire or never even been to the UK, check it out, look. Little stream, quintessential, rolling through the village, old stony buildings and houses and such on each side. Yeah, people living here. Yeah, it's a couple of little trinket shops. Sure, it's Castleton, but yeah, a lot of these are actually houses. <laughs> Check out the parking, mate. Nightmare for parking around here, but yeah, there are so many places around the UK like this. They're just lush little quintessential little villages out in the, in the sticks, you know. Beaut, mate. And no way. Check it out. Can't believe it. It's a little bit cloudy, but sun shining on me and the spits of blue cloud it's absolutely wicked mate it was supposed to be thunderstorms and rain today and it's supposed to be that for the next week or something but oh, we've been blessed you know blue skies and buzzing wicked should say as well we've just caught a left through this village if i'd have cut right that would have took me to the devil's arse which i may go check out at some point not on this episode but a future one because it's pretty cool it's a cave but it's a massive cave it's got loads of history there's some body that's been stuck in some hole for about 50 years but the thing that struck me when i was looking into it the most was there's a village or was a village in there where 200 people used to live a few hundred years ago for like assisting the miners that was in there and i guess the miners and the family and such it's really like a pretty impressive place I think it's about 10 squid for the tour or something probably get about 45 minute or an hour tour around it with a bit of a talk so 
well worth a visit. But not today. Today, it's views and blue skies. Let's go. Good one as well, look. Check it out. <laughs> Cuts through someone's backyard, this trail. <laughs> Wicked. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the channel, but the house I used to live in when I was growing up as a small kid, oh, mate, it was on a cul-de-sac, but it had a right way going through it, like a trail, you know? And the law was, not that it ever happened, but if somebody had knocked on our front door and asked for access along the trail, we would have had to let them come through our hallway, through our living room and dining room. <sighs> no, it wasn't a fancy one, it was just how it was. Through our garden and out the back gate, because that's the way the trail went. Mental as bike. Oh my days, I'm talking of mental. <sighs> I think we've hit a gem here. Look at this bad boy. This looks rustastic. Let's go. Oh mate, the world stops. Nothing else matters. Check it out, dude, and it is mild. But I'm gonna make it happen. Look, there is. Come on, I had you a minute ago. There it is. Oh yeah. Cause this is the life when you wake up in the morning and you have the exercise. Where you gonna sleep? Where you gonna sleep tonight? There's no squeaks, not happening. I don't even care. I know it's there. You know it was there. You heard it. And above all, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's all about the good vibe. And boom shanker. We got bucket loads of that. Wicked mate. This trail has kind of been sitting on my doorstep for years. Never knew about it. Matt Towns have been down Castleton just looking the other week when it bopped up. And yeah, hidden gem, you know, you know. But a perfect start to what hopefully it's going to be a perfect couple of week long trip. Wicked. Honestly, how did I not know this was here? Wow, what a little pucker spot. We've got a bit of castle on the top, you know, and sneaky little cave to investigate. Pretty sure it didn't go nowhere, but rude not to have a look, you know. Meh, it's not going anywhere. <sighs> could be a go for a bivvy bag, though. Absolutely stunning, mate. Honestly, like, yeah, that could be a go for a bivvy bag. I mean, look at the view you've got out the window. You know what I mean? None too shabby. Wicked, mate. I'm stoked about this trip. I spent a few days trying to put this one together, and in all honesty, I had a few ideas where I was going to go. I was thinking about going Cairngorms in Scotland for a couple of weeks, and I was really trying to put a thing together to go south for a couple of weeks. I plan to start in the South Downs, over to the New Forest, sneak a bit of Devon, and then mostly into Cornwall, but oh my days. If ever there was a winner for the most unfriendliest, nastiest place to go for overnight, and, well, yeah, welcome to Cornwall. There must be, on park for night, over a hundred spots that you can park at, supposedly overnight. And after trawling for all of them, 92 of them have got signs up saying no overnight parking. And the remaining eight have had no reviews since like August last year. So no idea whether they've got signs by now as well. They don't want you there. I'm beside myself and a bit angry about it, having looked through it for like a long time. And I don't care what problems they've had, how much rubbish they've had or anything. The world and society is about accommodating people. And is all that's telling me is your government's got one up on you. That's what it's down to really, isn't it? It's just another infringement on your rights. Thou shall not ever overnight in Cornwall again. Honestly, I feel sorry for the surfers and the locals around there more than anything, because it's been blitz for them. All them amazing spots for years have been parking up at and for whatever reason now, because of lack of accommodation, accommodating people's wants and needs, now they can't even enjoy it. That's outrageous. So I don't know, I'll never say never, but I shan't be rushing down there anytime soon until I can work out at least a handful of spots I can stay at. So hit me in the comments, let me know where I could, could stop or email me. That'd be a good one if you've got some sneaky spots, you know. Anyway, enough waffle. Let's keep on the trail, you know. Ah, oh, look at this. There's all little caves and holes and nooks all around there, I guess. Ah, that's why they call it Cape Dale. Just a thought. There must be some sort of reasoning for the hollowness, though. That's my point. I mean, they're not man-made, are they? They look like natural holes. Same with that one. They're pretty round, aren't they? So, pretty cool, man. I think, and don't quote me, it's all limestone down there. I think there's actually, this is part of a limestone trail which stretches for miles. I guess they were mining along it in years gone by, so pretty epic. 
Full history with it. Shame about the trail being a river though. Just saying. Mate, this must gush when you get proper amount of rain. I mean, it's a stream now and we've not had heavy rain for probably a week. At least I've re-waterproofed my boots, you know. Damn, they got scuffed again. Hey, <sighs> gonna have to reapply it. Oh, here's one then. We're about two thirds of the way up and oh, I've just been checking. There's supposed to be a geocache around here about 60 meters further on and it's a premium, which basically means you have to pay for them, like pay the membership and then you can get the premium ones as well. Geocaching, it's like a little treasure hunt thing. So yeah, uh, I figured I'm gonna see if I can find it. It's supposed to be like size two, which is a little bit above a micro, so probably a camera case style thing, but I don't know. There is a clue, I haven't looked at it yet, but it's on the on the left side of this trail, so yeah, let's have a bum, we'll see if we can find it, eh? Uh, I kind of figure we're looking for a hole that it might be stashed in. I don't think it's going to be too far up. I don't know. I hope I'm on the right side. I said it was on the left. Ah, uh, I don't know. <sighs> don't worry about it. I'm reading the compass wrong. It's, uh, it is over that side. Somewhere. Just got to get down here now. That slipping ass over tit, you know. Well steep. Nightmare. Ugh. Hey. Uh. Oh, I've cleaned my boots as well now and I'm going to get muddied. Is it in this muddy boggy hole? Oh mate, this feels like Flash Gordon when he gets his ambit. Something in there is going to take me out of my ah! Green snot on my wrist. Uh! No, it's not in there. Good. Yeah, I mean, I mean this thing could be anywhere. Hey, this is the geocaching thing, man. You spend hours looking in little holes and under rocks and such. Not there. And then, all of a sudden, da -da -da -da. check it out, you know, you know, ow, crush me hand. And there she blows, this oh, wicked mate. Oh, trinkets in there, hang on. <laughs> wicked little smiley bot. Oh, no way, is that a dice? Oh, no, it's a spinny top, wicked. So there we go, boom. One for the kids, it's something to just spice your trail up, mate. It's pretty cool, like, yeah, just get yourself a trail up and some hunting around. All right, I'm gonna bop it back and head on upwards looming rain clouds hold out don't don't come we want that oh mate i've got a rainbow behind me and in front of me i've got something absolutely amazing oh yes and it's the second one of the trail mate one love one life let's get together and feel all right mate it's living it up spring times are coming and so are them squeaky gates. Oh, I'm living the dream. This is the perfect start to the perfect trip. Game on. I bet if you're new to the channel, you're wondering what the hell I'm going on about and think I'm going mad, but I'm not the only one. Hayes Outdoors, 500k subs. He's got a little thing called Locks and Gates on the Instagram, so yeah, I'm not the only one bringing the good vibe from the, uh, the oddities out there, you know. And hey, I've said it before, who don't love playing a tune on a squeaky gate in the middle of nowhere. Brings out the soul in you, the good vibe. <laughs> Number three, just saying, and they're getting better. They're here for the taking, mate, they really are. And so is the top of this trail, nearly there. Shame about Bogfest, I eat. Well, that's all we've got is the end of a green line on a trail. And pretty much nothing to slap and tickle, but, mate, the surrounding area whew, is absolutely stunning really is i cannot believe this trail it's possibly one of my favorite trails of of late it really is couple of miles up and that gorge that we cut through and this up here is just magnificent <sighs> really impressed the trail itself now i won't turn around because of the wind but it cuts up across fields uh well it cuts straight back the one i'm doing but there is a choice to cut up across some fields and then down a country lane which I was thinking about, but to be honest, I think I'm going to enjoy the views going back down this way instead. Really chuffed to have got up here today. Absolutely stunning. Wicked. Right, I think I'll catch you back at the crib.
crib in six o'clock and you know what? It's still light. I can hear the birds chirping and springtime's pretty much here. I'm really chuffed, you know. It's been a long winter, let's just put it that way. But also, good we got light because we're only five minutes from the spot for tonight. So for a change, we might actually be able to get there with a bit of semblance of light. And I really, really hope, really, really, that I can get a spot there. Because I've been up there a few times and it's really busy. And I want to get kosher because I'm probably going to be there for a few days. So yeah, fingers crossed. Let's go take a look. Yeah, I'm going to hold my hands up. Uh, it's not looking good. Just saying. <laughs> it looks pretty busy already, man. Damn it. Oh, you've got to be kidding, man. My look's in, dude. Do you know what, though? Oh, mate, now I'm here. I'm not convinced I want to stay here. The views are not that great. Well, I'm not going to lie. I'm not totally convinced. I mean, this is a nice view, but as we were coming up, I just think there was better views, like, on the way up. There was, like, panning views over the distance. You've got all these trees in the way blocking the view here, but there is something funky. Check it out. Odin Stone. I don't know if that's Odin Stone. It might not be that one. It could be a different one. But I didn't realise. Yeah. Odin's Mine. Mate, I'm definitely checking that out tomorrow. But I don't know. Well, oh, crap. I better move quick. Someone's going to bag and tag it. But uh, yeah, there's a view there that I'm going to take. Well, we've never been here before. So I'm going to bag that spot quickly. Let's do it before someone steals it. I can't believe there's no one else up here. This is absolutely mental. These guys here are going later as well, so I'm going to be totally on my toddler. It's going to be sweet as a nut. And oh, there's a phone signal. We're living the dream. Let's have it large. And the crib is in chill mode. Love it, mate. Lights are up, windows are in, curtains are up, and I've even made a brew. Boom, check this cup out. Wicked, mate. A show cup. Somebody sent me that. Absolutely pucker. Seals as tight as a nuclear reactor at the top, but it's just hefty and oh, I've got a feeling. I mean, I can knock most things over, but yeah, I might struggle with that one. More importantly, food time. I've brought the old cooker with me. Oh, the new cooker with me. I'm gutted. I wanted the old one. The old one's better. I'm sure this leaks gas, but yeah, whatever. What's in the box? Dr. Cotton. And I've got to tell you, there is ha, ha, ha. quite a considerable amount in the box. Oh, mate, I forgot I've got them. Yeah, I might have one of them now, off camera. Yeah, why wait? More importantly, tonight's proceedings. And as I pull out the stir fryer, I know what you're thinking. Oh, it's going to be that rudimentary stir fryer again. Well, no, it's not. Of course, I'm taking it next level. Bear with. Because not only have I got like the rudimentary stuff that I always buy, massive bag. I'm never going to eat that in about four sittings. But yeah, prawns. Taking it next level with the prawns. And oh, look at this. Fresh egg noodles, none of them cheap ones anymore. Oh no, oh mate, oh no, that's wet. I hope it's a good sign that it's wet and not a bad sign that something's dripping in the fridge. And somewhere, oh, I've got bloody ocean sauce. No, it's not, it's a sweet chiller. Somewhere, oh my god, in a mass of gobbins, that is the food box. Oh my day, somewhere. Please don't be at the bottom, please don't be at the bottom. Please don't have forgot it. Oh no. Oh no. We're in. We're good. Ah. Sweet chili. Chia batters as well. <sighs> Couldn't get paninis. <gasps> All my days. Oh, I nearly forgot. Oh, look at what I've got. These are as rare as rocking horse poo, mate. Not only are they walnut whips, which don't exist in the normal world anymore because the walnut's been taken off. But these are gone old school bad and they've got the walnut on top. Somebody sent me these. Absolute legend, paper clip, you rock. <sighs> True, authentic walnut whips with the walnut. Hang on a minute. One of the bloody walnuts just fell off. Oh, I hope it's in the box. I'll be good. Anyway, they're for dessert. For now, let us create. Oh. Or rather, not burn. At least try not to. Not gonna lie, not only am I taking it to the next level with the ingredients, but the bloody price and all. This meal cost me about the price of a parking ticket. Not a parking ticket, but to park in the devil's ass car park. Yeah, about seven quid, mate. <laughs> Literally, which is more than I normally spend on a meal. Do you know what I mean? It's normally three, four, five pound at most. So seven quid. It wasn't prawns, I think. They were about three fifty. 
And these Canoogle things, they were about, well, I don't know, two, quid fifty as well. So, yeah, not cheapest. More importantly, what to burn first. Cook first. Uh, I think I'm going to go a bit of prawn, you know. I feel like I'm missing a main ingredient. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe not. It'll come to me later, maybe. Yeah, they smell a bit fishy, man. I oh, know, that sounds stupid. But they do. Sneaky bit of preheating going on, you know. I don't know, honestly, whether to use all these or not. Oh, it's not many, is it? I was just thinking, like, the chances of me eating all that in one meal, or maybe even three or four meals, is pretty slim. So rather than throw it away again, I'm probably going to eat that tomorrow off camera. Rawr. Just wondering whether to save myself a few prawns. I'm guessing that's not worth saving. <sighs> Good start. Damn it, there's a four pack, but I just don't want to open it. I want to try and get this can. Oh, fucking hey, dude. Come on. Ah, oh, there might be an easier way. Hang on. Oh, yeah, that was a bit easier. Well, didn't you used to be able to do that in the old car? Bloody hell, that's nearly empty and all. Crap. So is that. What? Yeah. So we've got five cans for the trip and two bits. Right. Prawny things. Do your thing, but not too much. I like cooking, you know. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can eat these raw, eh? I don't know. It's prawns, isn't it? What about your prawn cocktails? You don't cook them and then whatnot. So... I'm probably doing the wrong thing already from the start, but there we go. We'll put a bit of heat through them. Right, I'm already starting to get the feeling that I'm doing this wrong, and these are going to be well overcooked, so a bit more oil, and in with some of the colourful stuff. Gordon Bennett, how much of this do I want? I don't bloody know. It, it shrivels down, doesn't it? Oh, look at that. Bloody cabbage, mate. Looks like it's been prepared. In the dark bar, people with giant sized bar focals on, mate. It ain't, it ain't great. Right, we'll have a quick toss. And we'll flip this as well. Giggle, giggle, you know. I don't want to toss it too much. Don't want to cause no damage. Lose some off the uh, edge or anything. Right, I'm going up with the heat, man. Big guns are blazing. I'm feeling it. I don't know why. Stir fry, innit? They always are like Asian style, man. They all have it sizzling away like a madman. I feel like we're in need of more sizzling action. I don't know, maybe a little bit more oil. Is that freaking gas died on me? God damn, the gas has died. Yeah, now we've got that sizzling action going on. We've actually got a gas can that's working. Yeah, wicked, wicked, wild, wild. Might be a bit too much oil in there now. Just saying, a little bit more green there, just for luck. Oh, a bit of red stuff as well. Game on. Honestly, I don't think we've got any time for messing with this gangster. It's all starting to burn pretty dang quick. Right, excuse fingers, and I don't care because it's my food and my fingers, but give me the egg noodle. Right, off of it. Save him some for tomorrow. Do have a bit of a feeling that stuff's on the wrong side, though. I.e., those noodles could do with being on the bottom of the pan and everything else on top of it. Blimey, an egg, mate. That's like a solid chunk of noodle. Same, mate. What are you saying? These are well nicer than the normal noodles of bar, man. They just feel it fatter and more eggy. Like egg noodle. You do. Right, that's all got a pretty good eat. And it's all going pretty well so far, but uh, I might be going into my toughest challenges yet. The thing is, oh, God. I want to save some of this. I don't want to use it all. Oh, God. Oh, that might work. It might work. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, tight, fella. Don't go overboard. Yeah. Look, I've had a genius, genius cunning plan. Wait till we see this bad boy. Because I'm not going anywhere tomorrow, I'm going to store it in my coffee cup. And then, yeah, hopefully it shouldn't spill anywhere. Well, that's the theory. Why? Just a final stage of stirring and a frying. And yeah, should be good to go. Oh mate, it smells lush. Mm, probably should have bought the host in. But sweet chilli's good as well. I don't mind a bit of sweet chilli. It's a spicy one I'm not into. Right, put some heat through it. Serve the bad boy up. Boom time. 
served. <laughs> oh, no point on no, the plate, it's pointless. Why? It's just, I might as well just eat it out of the pan. And it'll stay warmer that way as well. <laughs> it looks pretty good as well. Stoked with the mag noodles. They were a definite decent buy. I don't think I'm going to eat it all, but I'm going to try, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. <laughs> now, nah, wicked mate. Belly's full, pots and whilst everything's tidied. Started raining a little bit. I've got a cup of tea and some walnut whips. And because it's getting a little bit nippy, let's uh, let's turn on the heating, shall we? Oh, look at this bad boy. <laughs> what? Boom. And on she goes. Wicked, mate. That should take about 10, 15 minutes to warm up to max temperature, like really hot. Pretty cool as well. It goes like straight up. Look, that's sucking 170 odd out the battery already so it doesn't mess about it's not regulatable but then again you only need it on for about half an hour and the room's going to be really warm yeah i'm not going to lie after two years of having absolutely no heating in any of my car setups having that heat tube in there now ah brilliant it's an absolute game changer it really is it's getting warmer now but at least i know now i've got a setup i've got the power to to power it and everything I need so come next winter or even if I go somewhere cold through this year yeah I've got heat it's nice right I'm gonna chill out or have a warm up for the night and I'll catch you guys in the morning as grim as your grandma's mold today it's absolutely persisting it down and it's only half past nine in the morning i'm on my first coffee to be honest it doesn't really matter i'm not going anywhere today i've just got a full day of grinding loads of editing to do and then i'm just going to chill out in the evening and watch the england game and feed my belly before heading out tomorrow up northward but for now i think this is probably going to be a good point to end the episode wow if you can hear me above the rain Big shout out to channel members and supporters on PayPal and buy me a coffee. Seriously, like, without your constant support, this thing wouldn't be happening the way it's happening. So, massive, massive big love for that. As for now, I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know, from a rainy, rainy Castleton spot, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. Oh, bye!